and welcome back to a Let's Play of Metal Gear Solid Abridged. And we're up against Big Boy. Big Boy fucking Raven. So wish me luck on this, yes. Like, he's the only boss that actually has true vision, like realistic vision. To the point he can see you completely across the room. So he's not on drugs, so he's not got any problems with his eyesight. He can actually see you really far away so that's why we gotta like use the containers normally when i play this game i know my weapons usually uh sting the missile and nikita's sometimes i use a bit of c4 and normally i do that but it's been ages since i played it so i'm not sure and i'm not comfortable with the keyboard controls so i decided to just wink it with the uh the mind so i'm just using a lot of mines and I'm just going to trap him like a little rat I'm just going to trap him well he's not little he's the big rat so I'm going to have to trap him and just, you know all that stuff like, oh dying okay so yeah I'm just going to do, do it like that I want to yeah like one of the best things about this is that you can use any weapon and um, I want to use the mine instead but he's the only boss I think where you can use all the weapons against him C4, stingers, mines like a whole lot. I'm not too sure about the um, the pistol, the Stockholm, I'm not too sure about that. I won't use the Stockholm on the dude but yeah I think it's fucking Raven. He has that Gatling gun so it's like a fucking like Fucking cannon kind of gun thing like which is normally attached to like fighter jets and yeah it's, it's the same thing that oh my gosh my freaking thing started um okay wait I'm back I'm back all right there we go okay the controls are janking up on me right now right? but it's okay we're good Yeah, it's like, wait, like the thing from Terminator 2, like where a swap sniper just goes out with a gallon gun and it just like shoots everyone up on. Yeah, kind of same thing, same thing. It's an interesting boss because he's smart as well and he learns from his mistakes. But he really wants to capture Snake. Yes, I uh, managed to get the mind detector because I feel like I'd be kind of screwed if I didn't have the mind detector here. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh man. Oh. I was looking at him instead of looking at uh, my front. Wow. Well, looking at my standing. Just a little bit, bit more, yeah. Yay, we did it. Kind of easy, actually. The dude does learn from his mistakes, but I know it's, that was kind of easy. My existence, which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? That was not the Dark 
chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. Wow. But he was. Oh, I totally forgot to about this. I think we all forgot about death. Decoy Octopus. We completely Being forgot about death. him. Just like. Yeah. No, I've not fought Decoy Octopus in ages. Uh, he's one of the terrorists, right? Like, no. Totally forgot why about him. Why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> That is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing Dude, as Dude, that's disgusting. They're packing him. They're just like... It, you are Dude, they're just eating him a lot. Well, he's going to die anyway. He's going to be a cop, but, you know, they're just no eating him. It's just, uh, I think like his flesh, like his soul, and they carry his soul to the other world, like it's pretty shamanistic and stuff. All right, bye bye, Native American Swashnagger. Dang, they just cleaned him. They just like straight up cleaned him. Snake, it's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Oh, something's going on. There's a lot of like cloak and dagger stuff happening right now. Oh, but yeah, I, I'm just thinking now of how I'm going to edit this because I feel like I'm at that point of the game where, oh my god, look at that! They just clean him. They they didn't even take his bones. They just like took his bones. Damn, those those ravens are scary, scary ravens. But yeah, I'm at a point of the game where I'm feeling I don't think I can edit much in terms of condensing the story because we're almost at the finish line now we're almost near the end i'm just checking for goodies here see if there's any items but i feel like we're at that point where at, it's at the end the story's going to come to a close 
we're going to have like the climax that we feel and everything and I feel like I don't think I can edit that out I don't think it's possible so yeah anyway after accessing the weird permafrost thingy we're in this weird freaking corridor with cam gun cameras it's not it's kind of weird there's no guards and I feel it should be heavily guarded it's just so weird it's so doesn't seem like a really intense high facility it's kind of decrepit it's all yeah like trap floors and I don't know it's just really weird in terms of level design but anyway here we are finally end game everyone we're at the end game now here it is the big monster oh oh the, the big dragon mac oh yes dinosaur mac metal gear rex here we are finally made it i'm happy I, yeah it took us a while but we finally got there we finally got there look at that behemoth rex's layer okay this is this is the the nuclear weapon to end all nuclear weapons the ultimate weapon i love rex's design by the way so it's it's not too anime and it's not too you know it's kind of a little bit realistic Snake, but yeah fantastical me. i like what's it what's wrong did you find a good place to hide yeah thanks to the stealth gear it looks like they've finished getting metal gear ready how do you know that i overheard them talking where are you now right in front of metal gear but it's strange what is there's nobody here no guards nobody patrolling it's too quiet maybe because they're all ready they said they even input the pal codes what should i do all we can do is use the override system that president baker told you about but i've only got one of the three keys and besides that like ocelot said there's some trick to using the keys leave it to me you got some kind of plan well I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Okay, so Mel Gear Rex is a stealth weapon. And when I was young, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, stealth weapon, it has stealth camouflage, it can go and fist ball, like Wonder Woman's invisible plane or something. I'm like, no, no, no. Stealth, that's what I thought when I was a kid. But a stealth weapon is basically, it can't be seen on radar. So it has its nuke, nuclear missiles, and it can fire a nuclear missile anywhere on the planet. Anywhere, it can, from China, Russia, America, Africa, anywhere, it can fire off any missile. The thing is, because it's a railgun as well, it doesn't fire any propellant or something to do with heat as well. I'm not too sure, but it can't be seen on radar. So yeah, because it doesn't fire propellant, it's not classed as a quote missile quote. So it goes, it defies certain nuclear weapon treaties and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, because it is a stealth weapon, it can't be intercepted. So, realistically speaking, if a nuclear weapon like this did exist, like, no one can it's intercept it. Normally when you see it on the radar, you fire a missile, you shoot the missile down with, like, other missiles. But yeah, this weapon, you can fire it anywhere on the planet and no one can see it coming. If a weapon like this did exist in reality, if, it, if Amer America owned a weapon or any country owned this type of weapon, the world would demonize that country because essentially like it's the ultimate nuclear weapon you can't beat it it's you can't see it coming you know what i mean it's ridiculous it's it can cause high destructive power and no one can see it. it's not good we gotta end this weapon it's the end of the world as we okay, know it. I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety. I'm freaking liquids alive as well. How is he not dead? There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. 
there's been a change. The new target is Loch Nor China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Arms Tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovic, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours! What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place... Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll oh, be Oh, Snake, you're on camera. You can be seen, Snake. No need to worry. The uh -oh. DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. She's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. 
You see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn! The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. 